I know that you have a passion for cars, and a lot of people would think, okay, a guy comes into some money, he's gonna go out and he's gonna get the Lamborghini, the Bugatti. Mm, that's not the way you went. That's I, not. I, it's not the way you went. Yeah. We have a picture here of the car you bought, and it is a 94... <laughs> This is not a joke. It's a no. 94 <laughs> Buick Roadmaster. Tell me why the Buick Roadmaster. Unlike that fake impossible turkey, that's real. Yeah. That, that is real. Um, I, listen, that, that is the high water mark for station wagons in American history. 94 to 96 Roadmaster, Posi Track, stainless steel, dual exhaust, LT1 motor in front. I took that out. I put an LSA supercharged. I'm making 700 horsepower. You put thing. 700 horsepower. <laughs> you put 700 yeah. horsepower. Six in miles a, to the gallon. A, well, don't do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it runs on rainforest wood. Uh, <laughs> put another tree in. <laughs> <laughs> I think that one had a family of, of monkeys on it. <laughs> oh, well. So, but wait a minute. This thing, uh, and, and, and this thing, you put a, a V8 in it, and yeah. not just any V8, a massive, powerful V8. What, what can it do? What, 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 what can this baby do on the highway? Well, we're looking at zero to 60 in four seconds, wow. which is, right. you got to have if you've got two young kids, because yeah. you want to get out of that car as quick as possible. <laughs> so the faster you're home, the happier everyone is. Here, here's but what it's I, a NASCAR. It's a wood grain station wagon NASCAR. You know what I love? Of, it's the old wolf in sheep's clothing. That it is, <laughs> not unlike you and I. <laughs> I mean, our sexual prowess. Of course, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, anyway. <laughs> Here's the thing that I, 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 I identify with. My family, that I, I come from this big family, six, uh, you know, Irish family, six kids, and my, we always had a big station wagon. So we had a lot of them. We had... Uh, Did you have the rear-facing? Yes. Yep. That's what we had, was we had the rear-facing station wagon. So, and we also, I think my, my parents had a Roadmaster for a while, so, but when I was growing up, they would always, I would always get relegated to the back. Sure. In the, and they would just flip up those seats, and you'd sit, and you would look. You're one inch from the bumper, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, in the event of a rear ending, yeah. you're yeah. gone. Yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah. why you, you, you put the kids you like least back <laughs> yeah. there. That's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My parents were always like, Conan and Neil get in the back, <laughs> and the children who show promise will be in, protected in the middle. But they would put us in the back, and we would sit, and we would look out the back. Directly uh, at the people behind you. Yes! Yes, yes. Thank you. It's so awkward for them. Um, <laughs> I put my kids back there, too, because I can't hear them as loudly in the, when they're in the way back. And we'll pull up to a stoplight, and then they're looking out the window at the person behind them, and, they're, and then they're like... <laughs> and then, you know, everyone's nice enough to do it once, so they're like... Eh. And then the light's still red, and then they, they feel awkward, so then they look like this, but then, like, I wonder if it turned green, and they're still waving, so then person's like, no. And I, then, then when the light turns green, they just get away from me. They yes. want nothing to do with this. I swear to God, the only reason I have a TV show and have had one for 26 years is I spent the formative years of my life looking through a piece of glass <laughs> at some people that look bored behind me and being like, hey, what the fuck? We'll be right back, you know, I was just doing that. It's because we had a rear facing. Yeah. That's what it does. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, they're certainly practicing. They yeah. have that same captive audience, and we can only hope that they have their own show, yeah. like you. Yeah, well, That's just, the goal. Well, Between just... Frozen 2 and those kids having their own show, I'm in a hammock, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bless this mess. Uh, uh, let me just ask you quickly. Do they get upset that you're supposed to be promoting Bless This Mess? You get a booking on this show, you come on, you don't mention it. Right. And you talk exclusively about Frozen 2. <laughs> well, it's a really good movie. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and it really needs the help. Yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, we, we, the, the, 90, the 94 uh, Roadmaster. Yeah, it needs something, I'm sure. I yeah. need to put some other part on it. But um, I don't think they care because ABC's owned by Disney. So it's all the same thing, right? I'm like a guy at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't care if you buy the washer or the bath mat. It's all Bed Bath & Beyond's money, right? <laughs> Is that a good analogy or a that's bad a, one? That's a, uh, it's that's on a the good, fly. It's a good analogy. <laughs> I like you were like, "Is that a good analogy or a bad?" What am I, the analogy judge? You're the analogy police. I yeah. deem it acceptable. <laughs> I often run analogies by you via email. You know yeah, that. Yeah, I know you. I, yeah. He's texting me and sending me stuff. Yeah. It's inappropriate. Uh,